Welcome back. Well, another frigid one this morning, officially 18 degrees in Lafayette, two degrees shy of the record set back in 2018. We've had a number of these winters, 2018, 2021, and now early 2024, where we've had these Arctic outbreaks, a big temperature swings from the amplified swings of the heat that we saw this summer, all part of the new climate paradigm. Uh, but we do have a milder day on the way for tomorrow, but don't get used to it more cold air on the way before the week is done and then the 10 day forecast featuring a warmer back end for sure along with wet conditions on the way as well so let's take a look at the temperatures this is a snapshot at seven o'clock this morning again much of the u.s in the deep freeze across the region and across uh, much of the lower 48 up through canada but watch what happened this afternoon moderating temperatures across the south from the 60s in the southwest to the 40s close to home in fact lafayette i just counted the hours 44 hours below the freezing mark we never got above 32 yesterday we hit freezing roughly about four o'clock monday afternoon and finally got above it right around noon today so at least a little bit milder but tonight there's going to be another lighter freeze we're not going to say generally a light freeze it's going to be moderate freeze for the northern portions of the area and that all happens prior to midnight uh, through the wee morning hours now across the u.s more winter storm action across the uh, northern rockies and uh, winter weather watches in advance of another brief system that's going to be rolling on through to the north associated with a strong cold front that will be pushing on through here. This time there shouldn't be any precipitation with that front. Although we will we'll see maybe a few showers tomorrow as we start to see warm air advecting across the region. Our winds turning east southeasterly to southeasterly. So a chilly start. Look at this. 42 snapshot first thing tomorrow morning but we'll be 10 degrees colder than that prior to midnight tonight. We shouldn't go below, below freezing for several hours tonight, but not as long as last night. And by tomorrow morning, temperatures will be moderating and then getting into the 60s, 50s by late morning. Again, you see a few spotty showers and then mid 60s tomorrow afternoon. We might even see a few intervals of sunshine with a breeze out of the southwest. Here comes the next front, though. It pushes on through, barrels on through tomorrow night through Friday morning. The coldest air doesn't get here till Friday during the day. So Friday morning, upper 30s, lower 40s. But Friday day, we stay most in the 40s and then Friday night, Saturday morning, heading back down toward the mid 20s for most of us could be lower 20s to the north. So uh, again, may want to just leave the plants covered even through tomorrow and then wait until Sunday afternoon before you can uncover them. Here are the lows for tonight. Still pretty cold, 23, 24 degrees. Alexandria Bunky, a little bit milder farther to the south as temperatures moderate with time. So yes, it's technically a hard freeze, but it won't be what we've seen over the last two nights. That is the good news there. Lower 30s, the I-10 corridor, about 32 to 33 in Lafayette proper. 33 is probably what's going to verify out the airport, but you can be a degree colder than that in the outlying subdivisions and uh, more rural areas of Lafayette Parish, and we'll favor lower 30s, another light freeze northern, uh, southern parishes of Acadiana uh, through about midnight tonight. You see those temperatures actually rise toward tomorrow morning into the mid-60s. Tomorrow night, mild, will be in the 50s, but dropping back down into the upper 30s, lower 40s Friday morning. And then Friday, we probably don't get out of the 40s in, 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 in spite of full sunshine. So we're back to that once again. 33 is the low we'll go with in Lafayette, so not as frigid with clouds returning later on tonight. Lighter freeze before midnight. Temps slowly rise toward the daybreak hours. East southeasterly to southeasterly winds tomorrow tonight. Then for tomorrow, southeast to southwest winds. That pumps our temperatures into the mid 60s. Plenty of clouds, maybe a few showers out there. We can't go with rain chance much higher, though, than about 20%. As we enter the 10-day forecast, it's back to the cold, but not as frigid. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, those overnight lows, these are Lafayette numbers, mid-20s. That means it's going to be lower 20s for the northern parishes. Then next week, much milder patterns, 60s and 70s for highs. Rain chances, though, each and every day, and we could have a fairly soggy pattern and maybe too much rain down the road, but uh, again, we have a January thaw on the way as we finish out the last week of January and head toward February. That's it for weather for now. We're going to have more and a full update coming away on Acadiana's news channel at 6, but now we pause for this commercial break.